Hey there Kitty Cats, your Guitar Sage. Today we're going to learn Waiting on a Woman by Brad Paisley. And this is a really slick little tune. It's in the open position, so no need for a capo today. And we're playing it, of course, acoustically. So um, we're trying to break it down to its essentials. And um, so I'm going to play a little bit for you. I won't play it through the entire song because there's not enough time to tell you all what's going on and play through the song entirely. We have about 10 minutes, so um, so I'll play through the bits and pieces, tell you what I'm doing, strumming wise, maybe what key we're in, and kind of how to approach these chords and that sort of thing. Um, for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time and haven't visited yourguitarstage.com, please go there and check out the ebook that I have on there that will help you understand exactly what I'm doing in these songs. Um, a lot of the stuff that I talk about on here you probably um, send in a question that, which I probably won't, won't be able to answer because it's answered in that ebook and I'm trying to make new videos so um, I get flooded with all sorts of questions and I'm just not able to, to answer them all unfortunately. So I will answer them if it's something I haven't covered in that ebook but uh, for the most part it's all covered there. So check that out, yourguitarsage.com and um, let's jump into this tune here, okay? So there's essentially um, an intro, a verse, and kind of a pre-chorus chorus to this song. I'm looking at my chart here on my screen, which um, also, if you do get the ebook, um, you'll have access to some of these handwritten charts that I've done for these tunes. Basically, they're just guides or, or abstracts for you to help you through the tune instead of having to write them all down as I recite them here to you on YouTube. A lot easier and I've got notes and stuff like that in it. So I'm looking at my chart here and basically you know there's an intro verse and what I'm calling a pre-chorus. There's not actually a chorus per se. Um, and there's a solo section and that's it. So I'm going to break it down to about three or four basic pieces here. Okay. Um, so here we go. The basic lift through this whole tune is a, uh, well let me go with the chords that we're going to need for this song. First a C, and I play my C with my thumb oh, coming over the top here to mute that low E string. Really important when you're playing any fifth string um, root based chord like an A minor, a C, an A, those sorts of things. Okay, so bring that thumb around, mute that low E string, and then when you hit your C chord, you don't have that low E out there, kind of lame, all right? So um, so here you go. You need a C for this song, a C sus, also known as a C suspended. Some people call it C sustain. Eh, wrong. C suspended. Okay, kids. So it's going to go like this, C chord, uh, but C suspended, you put your pinky down right here. But you can also smash that guy down, so these two are barred, so it sounds like this. Just like in the intro of the song. And that's where I'm starting this off, by the way. There's, in the beginning of the song, there's like this little... Brad's doing some sort of little something on an F chord, so if you want, you can noodle with that. But basically, the way my chart reads is starting from the C, C sus which is where the, the, um, the band kind of comes in. Okay, so from the top it's going to go, um, we've got four bars, a bar is a measure, so four measures of split uh, C, C sus, C, C sus. So it's going to go like this. C, C sus. Again, A minor, F, C, F, 
into the turnaround, okay? Or back into the, um, yeah, we'll call it the turnaround. It's basically the top of the tune again. Um, okay, so there's a few other chords there that I didn't mention to you. So an A minor, we'll need an F, we'll need a D minor. Now, um, if we have time at the end of this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play a cheating F. You'll see me grab this, which looks like a C chord a little bit, but it's actually an F chord. Um, now, we're halfway into it, let's talk about it. Um, take a C chord, drop your, put your pinky right underneath your ring finger. Take your second finger, your middle finger, drop it down a string. Take your first finger and bar strings one and two. Now, if you don't, you can just at least play the second string and mute that first string with the first finger. But if you can play, it's even better. And then you got this low E hanging out, so you got to do something about that. Bring your thumb around, mute that guy, and play an F like that. Some of you guys know this F. It's kind of like that, but we're just doing this. And we're bringing our thumb around to mute that guy, so you can do some nice strumming instead of having to worry about how many strings you're hitting, okay? There's always this F bar chord there too as well, okay? So, um, we got the, you got the intro, you got the verse, you got the pre-chorus. Um, there is a, um, a, a little symbol basically on this chart here, which tells you to go back to the top of the chart, okay? Um, and then we're back to the... Verse again. Okay, now let me talk about this strumming before we go into the next section because honestly, well, no, let me, let me talk about the solo here, then we'll talk about the strumming rhythm. So, really, um, after the second pre chorus, chorus, whatever you want to call it, there's a measure of C and then it goes into the solo. So, um... If you wanted to, though, you could walk it down C, or you could do actually a, a C, that's an E minor 7, sans the low E there, bring your thumb around and mute it. So E minor, E minor 7, bring your thumb around, mute that guy. Okay, and so with the A minor, we're back into the we're back into this pre-chorus chorus thing again. So I'm going to do the last pre-chorus because it's a little bit different. So it goes... Um here. Um, I think it just ends on that C sus. So, nonetheless. Um, okay, so we've got about a minute left here. Let's talk about the strum. Oh, let me, let me go back to the D minor. When I said that F for six beats, the song is actually in four, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But Brad does this clever little thing there at the end of that last pre-course and does a measure of six. Okay, 
So he holds that F. Two, three, four, five, six. Or you can call it a measure four and a measure two, whatever. Um, all the same. Okay, so let's talk about the rhythm real quick and we gotta get the heck out of here. So the rhythm is um, what I do is I do that mute, that little mute there, so whoops. Something like that. Okay, real important to do that mute. Um, I've got a video on right hand, left hand muting. Go check those out right now if you haven't seen it. And by God, for the love of all that's good in the world, kids, go get the ebook if you haven't already and keep watching these videos because it's going to help a ton. Okay? Go get the ebook, it'll help you out. Um, go take care of your pets today and listen to your parents and eat some greens. Um, yeah, do some recycling too if you can. See you, kids. That means we've got to get out of here.